Hi, my name is Scott and I'm here with your Light Tech Light Tip. And I'm here with the lovely Renee who's going to be our wonderful model for today. What we're going to go over is we're going to have a beauty dish over here and we're going to shoot the dish as it is and then we're going to add a grid to it. We're going to go over in this segment grids and the directionality that it gives the light. So we're going to shoot it without it at first so we can see the before and after. The other elements that are going on in our shot here is we've got two lights that are equally powered so it's going to be knocking out the shadow that that's going to be creating. Our other light is coming across here. And our hair light, what we've got is a 30 degree grid. And what that is doing is it's putting our light here on our shoulders and on our hair and it's gonna make our image pop a little bit more. Another thing which is good when you're working and you're, you've got your modeling lights on, you can see where your light is going. So if you start getting spilled, you could see it when your modeling lights on already so when you're placing your lights look at your modeling lights and then you can see the path of your light. Our shutter speed is at 1 25th of a second, our aperture is at f22, our white balance is set to the lightning bolt so it coincides with the strobe units. Alright now that our settings are good and I like the way the light is looking now I'm going to take pictures of the lovely Renee. Okay. That's perfect. Look right here. Hold it just like that. Fantastic. Very good. Very, very good. Hold it right there. Super. Hold it right there. One, two, three. Perfect. Very good. Hold it just like that. Great. One, two, three. Okay, relax for a second. Okay, I really like the shots that we got out of that. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to put the grid on the light and we're going to adjust the pack because the grid's going to drop about three stops off of it. So I'm going to keep my aperture the same working aperture, but what I'm just going to adjust is our power output. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to power the pack off and we're going to drop it out of the 400, bring it over to the 1200 slot. Our uh, our two side lights are actually going out 800, so they're getting four and 400 watts each. Now that everything is plugged in where I want it to be, the pack is safe, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. All right, and this is the grid that we're gonna be using on our beauty dish, and if you notice, it's a pretty tight grid, so it's gonna drop off about three stops of light. Like I said, it's dropping a lot of power And what it's going to do, it's going to give us a tighter area around here. It's going to be more of a tighter light. Okay, perfect. Fantastic. Hold it just like that. Very good. Perfect. Good. Very good. Great. I love that. Very good. Hold it just like that. Great. Cool. Okay, now so we can look at our before and after photos and we can see the effect of what the grid was creating. Um, it's just another one of the different effects that you can create and just figure out which one is gonna work better for your project. Okay, the grid that we're gonna go over this time is on an octabank. An octabank, normally without a grid, has a wrap around effect onto the subject, which is a very nice light on its own, but sometimes you might wanna have a nice soft shadowing. The Octabank is your softest light modifier. So if you want a soft shadow, then you'll put a grid on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to obviously, we're going to shoot it with the grid and we're going to shoot it without the grid and you're going to see the difference between the two. And it's just another lighting technique that you're going to see the differences and decide that you'll need to use them in different ways at different times. Okay, the only light unit we're using on this is the Octabank. There is no other light source in this shot. Now, where we'll start to see the soft shadowing is going to be right around here around the neck area and it's a real nice soft drop off. Now, our shutter speed is still at 1 25th of a second. Our aperture now is at 14 and our white balance is at the lightning bolt to give us the strobes. Uh, and our ISO is still at 100. Now, I'm ready to take the lovely pictures of the lovely Renee. Hold it just like that. Very good. 
Hang on one second. Good. Hold it right there. That's great. Super. Great. Turn a little bit more towards, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, perfect, fantastic. Very good. Super, hold right there, one, two, three. Okay. I've been referring to this light modifier as an octabank. Uh, this has been loaned to us by the good people at Photoflex and they refer to this as an octadome. Okay, now that we've taken the grid out of the octadome, we should have a wraparound effect and a much softer light, which shouldn't have any shadowing in it whatsoever. Okay, and also since we've taken the grid out, I've adjusted the power on the pack and I've dropped it down somewhat. And I've adjusted our aperture. Our aperture is now working at F11. And now that I've seen the way the light looks, I like it, so I'm ready to shoot. Okay, great. Perfect, just like that, don't move. Perfect, beautiful. Okay, perfect. Hold it just like that. Very good. Good. Let me get one more. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Here we go. One, two, three. Fantastic. Okay, that was our video on grids. Uh, we have another video coming up. Uh, it's going to be on high key lighting and how we can get it done pretty easy. And so that was your information on grids. Remember, use your lighting skills only for good, never for evil. This is Scott Smith with your Light Tech Light Tip.